Yep, my keyboard's broken. And I bet you're wondering how I got here. I'm Hippio Tech. Let me take you back. It all started when I was making my PewDiePie keyboard. I tried to save a little bit of time, and my grave mistake here was spray lubing. It really ruined my keyboard. I was having super bad input issues, and we're gonna try and bring it back from the dead. But the real question is, will it work? Now I'm going to start off by saying, do not spray lube your keyboard. This should not be taken as an excuse to spray lube your keyboard. These are the type of input issues you'll get if you spray lube. They don't happen every time, but you could do everything right and it could still end up this way. So here's another example of what it's like typing on this atrocity. Look at how many mistakes are being made here and I'm pressing the keys completely normally. To fix this, we're going to be trying a method that I actually got from Wildcat. I reached out to him on Instagram and he said in Korea, they use BW100 electric contact cleaner and they simply spray it on the contacts and they say that it fixes it. So we're gonna be putting that to the test today. So first, we're gonna take the keycaps off. For this next part, you're gonna to wanna to take it outside and you're gonna need gloves, protective eyewear, and of course the contact cleaner. You can choose to wear a mask for this part as well because you're going to be dissolving the spray lube and that's pretty toxic. You definitely don't wanna be breathing it in. For this next part, you have two choices. You could choose to spray all of the switches on your keyboard, that way they all work evenly, or you could make a list of all of the switches that don't work and spray those first. I chose to spray all of my switches as many of them had input issues and I didn't want to risk it. Before spraying each switch, make sure you shake the can a lot and shake it between each switch as well. To spray the switches, point it directly at the contact as this is the part that's causing the switches not to work properly. Then press the switch repeatedly to ensure that it coats it evenly. Overall, this is a very time consuming process. However, it beats the trouble of having to desolder every switch and clean them out yourself. So one of the main reasons why I don't recommend spray lubing is that you could do everything right in air quotes and still ruin a switch. This is because spray lube gets everywhere and will gunk up the contact leaf. This cleaner might work because it goes in and washes the leaf clean and then dries quickly. Next, I'm just gonna clean up the board a little bit. This stuff is a big skin irritant, which is why you should definitely wear protective glasses and getting it on your skin while using the keyboard would definitely not be a fun time. So I'm gonna use some paper towels and then some alcohol wipes. The can says it doesn't leave a residue, but I really don't trust it. So I'm just wiping it to be sure. The contact cleaner should dry really quickly. And I just left the board outside for another three to four hours just to be safe and then I brought it inside and put the keycaps on. Let's see if it works, eh? So already we've encountered our first problem and we've got a key that still doesn't work properly. Going through all of them, we had about three to four keys that didn't work. What I did is I took them back outside and hit them with another three to four sprays of the contact cleaner. And we're going to see what happens. At this point, I was pretty concerned that it wouldn't work. And this is the moment of truth. Surprisingly, everything works. I was really blown away with how successful this was. Thank you so much for watching my first video with a voiceover. If you liked it, give it a like, hit subscribe and consider joining the discord. I'm going to leave you guys with a sound test of before and after using the contact cleaner. I found that after using it, the switches feel scratchy again and are generally stock. They're really just not pleasant. Uh, so take with this what you will. It, you fix your keyboard, but it's unlubed again. So maybe you could have like a weird tug of war, but don't because don't spray lube.